Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I pray for you, wherever you are, whoever you are, wherever you are seeing me from right now, that you will not be led astray. You will not be led astray. There is a new, a new trend in that is going on. And the Lord put it in my heart to tell you. He said, be warned. There is something I saw in the spiritual realm that looked like a black bed. When I asked the Lord in the spirit, what is this? And the Lord said, people are seeking for power. And most of these people may appear as servants of the Lord. I am not here to speak against any servant of the Lord. I am not here to speak against anybody. But I am here to speak to the chosen children of God. And why the Lord said, be careful. You need to up your your discernment why because it is god that have the right to judge anyone that god has given a gift and now they are abusing the gift or they fear that they need more power the, the the quest for power the quest to see the quest to see things the quest to feel more powerful you know um and along the line many of those gifts are being corrupted you know there are many powerful prophets powerful pastors powerful evangelists prayer warriors out there they are really gifted but along the line because they allow the process to get into their head like the power that god the gift that god has given them it became corrupted why because they want to see more than what god want them to see you know that is not contented with what you are seeing what you are seeing when you see somebody else who see more than you or hear more than you who pray more than you who prophesy more than you you are like how is this person doing it if the person cannot do it then they will not start seeking for another power to do it it is very important for someone to be contented with the gift that god gave to him or her if god give you the prayer that the gift to pray pray more the more you are praying, you will see that God will be giving you strength and you will just be growing in prayer. If God gives you the gift of prophecy, prophesy, continue to prophesy. Continue to prophesy as the Lord leads you so you will have more grace to continue. Whatever God has given to you, don't let it die. Just keep the fire burning. So that is why I said initially, I am not here to speak against any prophet or any pastor. No, I am in my own lane. But what I'm trying to tell you, child of God, God said that is something that that look and that is something the Lord showed me that is that looked like a black bed and <clears throat> this black bed when I was trying to see what it is as I designed that message that spirit from my heart I see that it is a spirit of incantation like the bed is speaking to the person and the person is speaking out what the bed is telling him or her. <laughs> And that bed is not of the Lord, you know. Anything that have to do with divination, anything that have with that have to do with witchcraft practicing, any anything that need to do with voodoo, it cannot be from the Lord. Any other voice that is not the voice of God, it cannot be the voice of God. Am I speaking to somebody? And the Lord said, "Be careful. This is a new trend that a quest for power. People want to be known." People want to be famous. People want to be at the top. People want to like, everybody will see them and be clapping. Oh, see this prophet. Oh, see this. Everybody will be bowing down, bowing down to them. That is the, 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 the power that God give them. The gift that God give them have been corrupted. And the Lord said, be careful so you don't become a victim of what you don't know. Many of them are reveal the source of your problem, but they will not be able to give solution. Why? Because that revealing the source, if it is from God, God will reveal and he will redeem. But if it is just re revealing, revealing, and there is no redemption, you need to know that something is not all right. The Lord said, be careful. There is a black bear that is speaking. 
people are seeking for quest of power. It takes a man that, that understands the things of God to understand this message. May the Lord give you wisdom in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.